Yo, what is up gamers? Welcome back to the channel. Erock here. I'm going to be doing the Aral MG um, and its attachments. And at the end of the video, if you want to stick around, I'll do a, um, a showcase of the gun and a setup for looks. Uh, although this one is kind of boring, there's not much to it. But anyway, we're going to start with the attachments first. Uh, so rear grip, we have Bruin G305 grip wrap the STIP 40 grip and the Bruin Q900 uh, grip wrap. Stocks, we have the following stock options, starting with the Demo H40, the Demo Nimble stock, the FSS Riot stock, and finally the Demo Folding stock. For optics, we have the following Slimline Pro SZ Mini, Cronin Mini Red Dot, the Cronin Mini Pro, the SZ Sigma 4 Optic, the SZ uh, Mini Tac 40, the XRK On Point Optic, the DF 105 Reflex Sight, the Monocle CT 90, the Corvus SOL 76, the SZ Recharge DX, the SZ SRO7, the Corio REX Pro, the Corio Enforcer Optic, the SZ Lone Wolf Optic, the Kazan Hollow, Corvus Downrange Double Zero, the SZ Hollow Firm, the X10 Angel 40, the VLK4 um, Optic, the Schlager 4 Power, the Forge TAC Delta 4, the Cronin Zero P Optic, the SZ Bullseye Optic, the SZ Aggressor IR Optic, the Schlager Night View, the Teplo 0P3 Scope, the DR582 Hybrid Sight, the Hybrid Firepoint, the SZ Vortex 90, the BPZ40 hybrid, the Thermo Optic X9, and finally the Teplo Clear Shot. For lasers, we have, as usual, um, SZ 1 milliwatt uh, PEQ, the Schlager PEQ Box 4 laser, the Corio uh, LAS 44 V3, the FSS um, 5 laser, the Cantit Vibro.7, the 1 milliwatt laser box, the Stovall DR laser box, the Corvus PEQ Beam 5, the FTAC Grimline laser, the Luminate 44, and of course the DXS Flash 90. The Luminati, that's the one. <laughs> All right, um, barrel options are the following. The X EXF Golf 16 barrel, the 21-inch EXF Rhino barrel, and finally, the longer 26.5-inch Demo Field Pro barrel. Muzzle options are the following. Starting with the Nil Sound 90, the F-TAC Dreadnought, the F-TAC Reaper, Reaper, that is, sorry, the Bruin Agent 90, the Talon 16, the EXF Relentless 40, the BVM338, the Cronin DM338, the Shred CP90, the XRK Kraken, the TA CG76, the AP390 Flash Hider, the ported DZ38, the dark KX50 flash hider, and finally the Demon Helix T7. Underbarrel, we have quite limited options, just four um, underbarrel attachments. We have the Demo Narrow Grip, the XRK Dune Grip, the SA Side Grip, and the RAL bipod. Quite limited. Um, okay, for ammunition we have the 338 mag frangible, 
338 um, mag hollow point, the 338 um, armor piercing, 338 overpressured, 338 uh, high velocity, and finally the 338 incendiary. And finally, for magazine options, we have two magazine options. We have a 100 round uh, belt mag and a 50 round belt mag. Standard one is 75 rounds, so that's kind of, you have options in between. Um, receivers, obviously, just the one for now. Um, so we're going to do a build. This one's kind of boring, as I said. I mean, to my taste, there's not much that you can change. I mean, that's kind of, in general, the theme with Modern Warfare two so far um the uh, attachment selection has been quite limited in 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 uh, in my view i'm sure most of you agree it's not as good as the first modern warfare but okay anyway we'll see what we can do we can change a barrel i like the look of this barrel it looks kind of weird with the folding stock i'm not gonna lie it looks the gun looks so big massive um maybe put an under barrel i like that that would make more sense, wouldn't it? The bipod. But we look, we're going for look. Something like this. That would look pretty cool. I think we can put a um, different ammunition, actually, which I barely ever do. And you'll see it in the magazine, hopefully, um, when I um, do the showcase right after this. Should we change the magazine? Put a 50, 50 round mag? How about this? Or should we put a 100 round mag? Oh my god, this is a chunky boy. Anyway, I think we're going to leave it like that. If you do want to see a showcase, it's coming right up after this. If not, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Seriously, if you don't subscribe, you're a b ass goat, and you don't want to be a b ass goat, okay? That's just, um, yeah, that's just reserved for certain types of gamers that you do not want to be. You do not want to be a b ass goat. Subscribe, motherfucker.